the pregnancy struggle to get up. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Vlogmas day number three. Can you even see my fingers? Three. I am currently 19 weeks pregnant with a baby number two, and this baby is a baby girl. I have a three-year-old son already. His name is Carter, if you're new to my channel and you don't already know. And yeah, this pregnancy has been a complete 180 from my first pregnancy. That's one thing that they don't tell you is every woman has a completely different pregnancy, and sometimes even the same woman could have completely different pregnancies for each pregnancy that they have, which is definitely the case in my book. <laughs> so I wanna share maybe some of the things that have helped me from my first pregnancy to now. I feel like I have a little bit more insight on what works for me and that might work for you as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So first I wanna talk about something that I took pre-pregnancy because we were trying for this baby we were trying for baby number two so this is the alani new balance and these are a dietary supplement they claim to help with hormonal imbalance weight management improve mood and supports complexion and brighter skin and i will say this helped me with all four of those things um so this is not something that's like specifically marketed to help you get pregnant um, however, a lot, a lot of people online reviews and me personally and people I know in person have said that this has really helped them conceive. And I think it's because of the hormonal balance that it gives you. If you have irregular periods or if you're super moody and have any sort of hormonal imbalance, this would really help you. Um, I will say, I think we started to try for baby number two in June, I want to say. July, I took a pregnancy test. It was negative. I was taking these, but very inconsistently. I kept missing days, kept missing days. I honestly barely took it. After my first negative pregnancy test, I was like, okay, Cindy, so take them religiously every single day, set an alarm, and I did, and then I ended up getting pregnant the next month. So I don't know. I don't know if I should credit it all to this, or you know, I don't want to claim that it was just this that helped me get pregnant it could have just been by chance it could have been luck you know it could have been a lot of different things but a lot of women have really claimed that this has helped them conceive and with this probably the most important thing about pregnancy is a prenatal vitamins these are also by alani new and this is, i don't know if anyone follows her on instagram katie hearn but this is her um brand and i absolutely love everything that she makes but these are um prenatals that promote a stronger immune system as well which is good for now during covid times and before pregnancy i would take these together every day um because you can take prenatals before you're pregnant if you're trying to conceive and then once i got pregnant i stopped taking the balance because you shouldn't take those while pregnant but i continued on with my prenatal vitamins every single day there are a few things that i know don't help with morning sickness and one of them can actually be your prenatal which i didn't know um and i did feel like my prenatal that i took when i was pregnant with carter kind of added to my nausea and would make me nauseous so a good tip that I have is number one, take your prenatal at night before bed. It'll decrease the nausea. But also these, I have also read a lot of reviews that women don't get nauseous with these. And, you know, I had hypermesis, so I was throwing up regardless. But even after that went away at around 17 weeks, I've been continuing to take these and I don't get nauseous whatsoever with these. And I take them in the evening. My hair is growing super long. It looks super shiny. So these are doing some good things. My doctor approved them. And I love these. These are really good prenatals. If you are throwing up uncontrollably, uh, like for the few weeks that I was throwing up uncontrollably, I will say taking a gummy prenatal did help. So, cause these were sold out for a little bit. I think I was taking like the Ollie ones from Target and those are really good to take if you are super nauseous and can't like swallow down a pill. Maybe a good tasting gummy vitamin would help you as well. 
And then also to help with my hyperemesis, if your morning sickness gets really bad to the point where you feel like you need something prescribed, my doctor prescribed me, prescribed me Bongesta, which is for pregnancy. Um, I know different doctors will recommend different things, so definitely talk to your provider about that. But if it gets that bad to the point where you need something stronger than just like ginger, talk to your doctor. But if it's not that bad, I will say these also really help. These are morning sickness sweet lozenges. They are mango and ginger flavor and have vitamin B6, which vitamin B6 my doctor told me I could take as like a supplement and also really helps with um, morning sickness. So you could get like lozenges like these or you can get vitamin B6. Um, to take and that should help with nausea if you have like regular to mild form of morning sickness now Because most women have morning sickness when you are pregnant Even if you don't have morning sickness, it is really really important to drink a lot a lot of water probably more than usual and one thing one essential actually that I love is having some sort of water tumbler number one because it helps decrease the use of plastic in water bottles number two i don't know about you but whenever i have water in a tumbler and i carry it around with me all day i drink so much more water than when i don't have one of these handy and right now i'm just using this cute little starbucks one that i got for free with my points and i fill it up a few times a day and i get all my water intake there's also a really big one like this if you want to just kind of like fill up once and go for the day. This is actually Trey's. I got this for him at Target. But yeah, this is like really big. And this one actually will keep ice cold for like over a day. Like he'll have water with ice in it, leave it overnight on his nightstand. And in the morning, the ice will still be like rock solid. So this is really good if you're like at work and want to have this on your desk or like if you're in your car and traveling a lot and you don't want to carry something that heavy, something like this is really good. Also, nutrition is a big factor in pregnancy and I know that's hard when you have pregnancy cravings. I know because I've been craving bacon like crazy, but I, I try to add some good things into my diet when I can. So I really like these Vital Protein Beauty Collagen. This is like a powder that you could add into smoothies or just in your water. But yeah, just any sort of like supplements, any good things that you can just add into your daily diet to just make small changes at first will really help. I like to drink tea every night now. I, mean, I don't really drink coffee. I think I've said that before, but I really just drink a lot of tea, which will help your skin too. Um, I really also like this bee powered superfood honey and Sam Oscarl here on YouTube put me onto this and I really like to put it in my tea or in my smoothies or you can just take a spoonful of it like she does and this is also really good for you. Making green smoothies, which I don't make enough of but I need to make more of are really helpful just to get as much nutrition in as possible when you are pregnant. My next essential I am actually sitting on and that is a pregnancy Hello, guys, mine is velvet. It was cheap. It was like $38 on Amazon and it is the best investment I have ever made in my entire life. So I specifically like these C-shaped ones. I had like one of those huge U-shaped ones when I was pregnant with Carter and I just felt like it took up a lot of the bed and I was kind of like kicking Trey off the bed. <laughs> and I like, I'm still one that likes to cuddle at night. So at least with this C-shaped one, like he could like put his arm in there and still cuddle me. But I like this one because you can kind of shape it however you want. Like right now, I'm literally, I have it in like a circle shape and I'm sitting on the floor with it and it's supporting my back, supporting my legs. Um, or you could just lay with it in bed. And I really like the velvet one, guys. If you can get a velvet one, get a velvet one because it just feels so good on your skin. Like I have been sleeping so much better since I got this. And even if you're not pregnant, like get yourself a pregnancy pillow because it is the best sleep of your life. Next, I want to go into skincare. And I just did a pregnancy skincare routine video and I just quickly want to mention two things from that video because 
most pregnant women get really really dry skin so adding in something like hyaluronic acid this one's by the ordinary this one was super cheap it was like seven dollars will really help maintain the moisture in your skin and then i also like to do like some sort of overnight moisturizing mask one to two times a week taking care of yourself self-care is super important especially when you're pregnant and i either use superberry hydrate and glow dream mask by youth to the people i also love the summer fridays overnight mask the one with a little blue bottle and just do some self-care guys when you're pregnant like you need it now more than ever keep your skin hydrated those are both amazing for your face i wake up with super glowy hydrated skin and now let's go into body care I am, I want to say, <laughs> I'm a little crazy when it comes to body care. I use a lot of different products. You don't need all of these products, but this is what I do. Um, I want to say stretch marks can't always be prevented. It is hereditary, so sometimes no matter what you do, you're going to get them. I got a few my last pregnancy with Carter, and it's per perfectly fine, guys. Like, your body makes a whole entire human. It's okay if you get stretch marks. It's not a big deal. They're not ugly. If you're husband or boyfriend or baby daddy or whatever doesn't like them or tells you they're ugly then you need to reevaluate who you're having kids with because they are not ugly whatsoever but if you want to just do what you can to like lessen them or try to prevent them as much as you can i like to do so first i will go in with a lotion and i mix it with jojoba oil and i use the Palmer's stretch mark massage lotion and then I will mix it with jojoba oil. This one I just got on Amazon This is the Cliganic 100% pure natural. It's certified organic cold press unrefined chemical free lightweight and fast absorbing so first what I will do is I will mix these two and Pretty much lather all over my body head not head to toe because I already did my face but like neck to toe I will put this all over everywhere and sometimes I feel like lotion is not enough for my body because I get really dry. So I always put an oil on. Even when I'm not pregnant, I do this. I will do like a lotion and an oil or even just jojoba oil. But now that I'm pregnant, I use the stretch mark one from Palmer's. Mix it with the jojoba oil. And guys, one tip that I do have that I learned now as a second time mom that I know a lot of people don't do in their first pregnancy is to not only oil your belly area like I know some people will still lotion their whole body but like in terms of oil or creams that they're using for stretch mark prevention they will just keep it to your belly and one thing is it's not just your belly that grows it's your boobs your belly your back your butt your thighs your inner thighs so i like to go in and double oil i will use bio oil this one is i know a lot of women's holy grail product when it comes to stretch marks and scars and uneven skin tone and dehydration and this i will use from the top of my chest to the bottom of my thigh and i will go in and double oil because when you are pregnant that entire area is super prone to stretch marks and just loose skin and all of that stuff so this has really been helping i walk out of my shower so hydrated so oily <laughs> but don't worry it absorbs in like 15 20 minutes so i do like to shower at night so i can take my time put all my oils and lotions on and kind of just lay around in my robe which i will mention soon but the last thing i want to mention for creams and oils is this burt's bees mama bee belly butter and this my friends gabby and atelio got me thank you so much I really do love this so this i like to use in the morning those i use at night after my shower i will go in again and use another cream from like here to my uh thighs and i will rub this all over and i really like this in the morning because if you're going to get dressed really quickly like if you have to go to work or something this you don't have to like wait for it to dry like with oils you can just throw this on and walk out the door with this and it smells really, really good. It's so soft, it's so smooth, and so hydrating. I do love this stuff. Or if you are in a rush um, after your shower, you can just put this on and have some good hydration um, without having to use an oil. But I do recommend oiling at least once a day. Now, as I briefly mentioned before, 
I definitely recommend some sort of robe. And this one, I keep dropping everything. This is just a super fuzzy <laughs> brown robe and it's actually trays, but I pretty much have taken it for myself at this point. And I recommend this for a few reasons. Number one, after you oil and stuff, sometimes you don't want to put your pajamas on right away, especially if you have like silky or satiny pajamas, you don't want it to transfer on. So I will put this on and then do whatever else I need to do or just lay around until I go to bed. To be honest, I kind of live in a robe when I'm home, which is 97% of the time now anyway. I just feel like wearing any sort of pants, anything like around my waist kind of really hurts, especially as your belly starts to grow. So I live in my robe and taking them, taking them off of my feet. Also some fuzzy slippers, guys. Comfort is everything, especially when you get a big belly and your feet start to swell, these like fuzzy slippers. I got these on Amazon, sorry. They're a little dirty, it's kind of gross, but I love these, they were pretty cheap. I got them on Amazon, like I said, and I'll link them down below. But if you do want to wear some sort of pajama after your oil dries, I recommend one of these pajama dresses. This one is from Victoria's Secret like two or three years ago. I think I got it for Christmas from my mom. Um, but it's just super comfy. You don't have to worry about wearing pants. Your belly can grow in them perfectly fine. And I love them. They're very cute too. So unfortunately, when we go outside, we can't always be pantsless. So if you do need any sort of pants, I highly recommend Amazon's uh, maternity leggings. I know a lot of different companies, a lot of different brands sell them. And honestly, Amazon's are super cheap. They're like $14, $15 for a pair of leggings. They go over the belly. I don't have any to show you right now because I still have to order them for myself, but I just recommend some sort of maternity legging. You will live in them. You don't really need any other pant at all. You don't need to really invest in maternity jeans because even if they have that band, you're not gonna wanna wear it like a jean material on your legs, especially when they start to swell up. Leggings, leggings, leggings are all you need. Invest in a good one or two pairs on Amazon. Okay, second to last thing I want to recommend some sort of mouthwash or toothpaste that is go that is for your gums basically because one thing that a lot of people don't know is a lot of pregnant women get what's called pregnancy gingivitis and it's due to all the hormonal changes your gums become more pro prone to the bacteria and plaque so your gums start to bleed and that actually started happening to me a little bit before my second trimester this time I don't remember it happening with my first pregnancy, but it's been happening now and my gums bleed almost every time I brush my teeth and it's just because they're not as healthy as they were pre-pregnancy. So I'm just using this TheraBreath Healthy Gums Oral Rinse. I really like this brand even if you're not pregnant. They have a few different ones and I really like it because it doesn't have that like alcohol, like gross, intense flavor of most mouthwashes, but it still leaves your breath and your mouth feeling super clean, super fresh. You just swish it around your mouth for 30 seconds and you are good to go. You won't have bad breath all day. This one's specifically for your gums. So I've been using it for a few days and I do notice a decrease in the bleeding of my gums. I don't know if it's just from this, but um, yeah, any sort of mouthwash for your gums should help with that. And then last but not least, my last pregnancy essential is support. And that could be support from your mom, your sister, anyone that has gone through pregnancy before. And I know, you know, your husbands and your boyfriends and everyone like that, like they support you. But sometimes I feel like pregnancy is the kind of thing that you don't really understand what someone goes through until you go through it yourself. So as much as it's great to have the support of friends and your husbands and boyfriends and everyone like that, sometimes you really just wanna to talk to someone that has gone through what you've gone through, who has maybe had a similar pregnancy as you or has gone through some of the same symptoms. Even if you don't know anybody that has gone through pregnancy, um, there are forums on Facebook on your pregnancy apps, which by the way, I use the What to Expect app. That's another essential, um, but yeah, there's so many different forums online where you can talk to women and there's all these different like group chat type things to just kind of feel like you're not alone because let's be real, pregnancy is a really difficult thing to go through. It's great to make a life. It's, you know, 
essential to making a baby but not everybody loves being pregnant it it's really really hard for some people like i've said you know my first one was great it was beautiful and this time has been very mentally emotionally and physically draining so it's nice to know you're not alone it's nice to talk to people who have kind of gone through it too and if you guys ever need anybody to talk to and don't have anyone you can always dm me on instagram i'm very nice to like everybody i meet so i love to talk to people that are going through pregnancy too i love to watch youtube videos of other pregnant women and kind of just help each other out so thank you guys for watching my vlogmas and day three pregnancy essentials if you guys have any essentials that i didn't list in this video comment them down below and i would love to try them and maybe do another video in the future of trying out my subscribers pregnancy essentials that would be really fun so yeah comment like and subscribe guys i will see you guys in tomorrow's video bye